Prince Harry birthday, Duke and Meghan Markle to honor Prince Diana's unique legacy. Prince Harry will celebrate his 34th birthday today alongside his new wife Meghan Markle, who will help him continue his late mother Princess Diana's unique legacy, according to a royal commentator. It has been an eventful year for Prince Harry who married former actress Meghan Markle in a spectacular royal wedding and was also named as the Commonwealth Youth Ambassador by his grandmother, the Queen. Above all, Prince Harry has continued his mother Princess Diana's legacy, raising awareness for AIDS and homelessness issues in the UK and around the world. Now as he celebrates with his wife, Harry will undoubtedly be faced with sadness that his mother was never able to see him reach this milestone or meet the woman who will become his wife. But royal expert Richard Fitzwilliams told Express Co. UK Meghan will ensure the Duke of Sussex continues his fierce commitments to humanitarian causes in a bid to follow in his mother's footsteps. He said, What is beyond doubt is that this last year, the year of his marriage to Meghan, has been the high point in Harry's life and his devotion to her is so delightfully evident when we see them together. He has revealed that he has often led a troubled life in the past with Meghan who is also a deeply committed humanitarian activist, he will continue Diana's unique legacy. Prince Harry has previously opened up about his grief following the death of his mother. He has previously told how he became introspective and began to hate his role in public life. During his engagement interview with Meghan Markle, he fondly told how his then-wife-to-be and late mother would have been thick as thieves, without question. He also shared how he would have loved to have been able to share the news of the engagement with her. Harry told the BBC, I think she would be over the moon, jumping up and down, so excited for me. But then, as I said, she would have probably been best friends with Meghan. It is days like today when I really miss having her around and miss being able to share the happy news, but with the engagement ring and with everything else that's going on, I'm sure she's with us jumping up and down somewhere else. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will embark on their first overseas royal tour in October to Australia, New Zealand and the Pacific Islands of Tonga, as they seek to increase their engagement with Commonwealth nations after Harry took on the role of Commonwealth Youth Ambassador in April. Mr Fitzwilliams described the visit, saying, their forthcoming Commonwealth tour is of the utmost importance as he was made a Commonwealth Youth Ambassador in April and its focus will be on activities which involve young people. Harry was baptized in 1984 as Henry Charles Albert David at St. George's Chapel in Windsor, but family, friends and royal fans refer to the prince as Harry. Earlier this year Harry married Meghan in the same Windsor Chapel where he was baptized, and the pair became the Duke and Duchess of Sussex.